Hey, welcome back. Let's do some building. I know, such a surprise right now. This is the Main Street building. And yes, it has, it's, we've, we have finished building this technically as per the instructions, but this is a set that is just crying out to be added to. I mean, that is a hundred percent. There's no mistake that that is what the designers of this set intended for it to be. Something that you can extend upon. And I've already made some little minor changes, like putting jumper studs here on the front walkways, because otherwise my uh, my figures keep just flying off. And his hair, this dude's hair is so loose. I didn't notice that when I first built the set. But anyway, you know, that's by the by. So going to... I'm going to be massively extending this. In fact, I fully intend, I mean, like each of them is just a box, right? Apart from the corner building, but that's a different, that's a different thing. We will address that another time. But these are just boxes that you stack on top of each other. So incredibly easy to do with hopefully just parts that you already have. And that's what I intend to do is just keep making this main street bigger and bigger and longer and longer and taller and taller. And initially I want to extend it and add a room for each of the Lego Friends girls and turn this into my own personal 10 year anniversary reset. Mm-hmm. Hair flex. So we'll <laughs> give it a try. Anyway, first up, Emma. This is a, this, she's going to get the first room for the extension for the Main Street building. I've made up my own compilation of Emma out of parts that I think capture her personality, a quirky personality, and I just couldn't bypass the new hair piece either. It's just so kawaii and it's just fun. <laughs> okay, so going to make her uh, an art studio, which is kind of going to be a compilation again, or a comp squishmination, which is not a word, but you're going to understand this, I'm sure, of her art studio and the fashion studio kind of in style. Hopefully it will cut, hopefully it will all come together, but I also want it to tie in with the style of the Main Street buildings too, and not yeah, in the single block color look, but not quite single block color. I don't know how I'm gonna go. So we'll give it a, we will give it a shot. So this is gonna be a shop, not an apartment. And it's, so these bottom floors are all shops. So we're going to need to tile it to match in with the others with the gray blue alternating tiles. And I'm gonna put some jumper studs on some of these because obviously some things are going to go on here. I'm gonna match up the flower, the flower, the flower placey bit there. And yeah, I've got, I've got plans for other Oh, hold on, other jumper studs, even, and one here is just so that a mini doll can stand on here and not go flying off. Yeah, and one for a sign out the front too, so hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll work. And I want to make this a little bit further forward so we have a bit more real estate inside, if you know what I mean, like less walkway, but that's okay because like all shop fronts aren't always lined up. Some, yeah, so th this should work. And I want to use these rounded display windows from the fashion studio and they're going to just sit on the front pavement -y thing there, but it has to sit up a bit. So her color scheme, going to stick to uh, dark purple and, well, well the purple's majoritively. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. But anyway, these are the art display windows. So in them, we might as well get in here and put something in here. So this one is going to have her clay sculpture from the art studio, and it has the, uh, the top hat edition that I added to it when I did my own modified version, my renovation of it. So that's going to be displayed in here. And on the other side, we'll pop a pole to put a whole heap of, we'll hang a whole heap of artwork off that or stick them off the side. I'll decide what's going to go on there as we go along but we'll just, yeah, flesh it out soon. Let's make the front facade, let's make it work. <laughs> so pink door, because pink is one of her colors, but I don't want too much pink. So it's just gonna be a little splash of pink and the uh, medium blue walkway into it. Yeah, no, I wanna have the medium blue, blue, what am I saying? Medium purple and dark purple on the other side. Yeah, okay, that looks nice. And I like the fact I've actually set it back a little bit too. The door's a little bit recessed. Because I want to make the bit around the... Oh, hold on, that doesn't fit. Yeah, okay. So anyway, we, we, we need to have these pieces with the Technique holes so that we can attach it to the other buildings, just like the rest. And I want to make around it uh, the mint, minty colour, because that's definitely one of her newer colours. And I think that'll look nice breaking up the blockiness of all the purple. So it'll be predominantly dark purple and mint, I think. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to put a mint in here. So it, it makes these two windows look kind of like they're separated. I didn't have enough room to separate them because I need space around the door frame. And I'm going to make the around the door frame old timey, a little bit like old apartment -y building rather than modern. So we're going to use these purple scroll pieces that came in the set. I actually ordered some more of them off Bricklink because that's, this is the only set so far that they come in. And yeah, if we put these pillars up on either side and have the scrolls at the top, it's going to make it look less modern than the rest of the Main Street building, I think, but 
Yeah, and I want to put things in front. We'll do that in a minute. It's okay. Oh, 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 and I need to use the sign from her original art studio. I'm just putting all of the Easter eggs in here. We're all of the Emma Easter eggs, basically. So we can put the sign there. I don't think it'll matter. Yeah, they, we just need to have enough room so that the mini dolls can fit under it. Otherwise, it's going to look really weird. A little bit of pink to uh, to go with our pink door, but that's it. We're not going to put any more pink in here, she says, till she puts some more in. Uh, some upward angled bricks on top of the door to give it some shape rather than just being really flat and along the top here we want some awnings so this is the same style of awnings as the fashion studio just in a different color so we're just tying it in with all of the purple so let's 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 put some display art in this other window and I'm gonna try and smush as much as I can onto this pole so have already got these pieces that came out of the art studio no the, well the art shop and um, they're on clips I uh, took this sticker off her van yeah, off one of the plates from her van. Grab these ones, these little cat ones, because they're just her, like two different themes of her cat style thing. Like it's even like the one on her t-shirt uh, that came out of one of the cubes, I think, and one of the extra stickers. So we're just gonna pop these on here and we want it to look good on the inside as well as in the display window side too. So which is why I have got the cats on both sides, but two different versions of the cat, of the same cat. Nice, look at that. And see, that's got Mia's treehouse down the bottom too, so it's a bit of nostalgia. And there's a bit of space, so we're just gonna put a little tiny funky one in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> is that gonna fit in the window? Uh, have we cluttered this too much? No, there's no such thing as too much clutter. <laughs> we are gonna pack this as full as we can. There we go. All right, so, so much Emma stuff already in here. Now, around the front of the door, I'm going to just build it out a little bit so it looks a little more old timey, like some more old, old fashioned architecture. I can't really explain it because I don't really know anything about architecture. But if we put these little pillars on either side and just fill these spaces that I don't have the right colors in, light, in, that, in that shade of blue for tiling. So we're just going to fill that with purple. It'll do fine. So if we put these on either side, it just adds so much character and definition. Uh, got a door handle, so we're good now. And now we need to just match it up with the rest of the buildings on the street by putting uh, all the flowers on. And this little jumper stud here is getting her sign from the art studio. So basically we have moved her art studio, modified version of her art studio into the main street building. It's gonna be like a, an apartment version of Heart Lake City maybe by the time I finished, I don't know. This is just the beginning. This, is, this can be endlessly extended upon. So the front facade looks I think, in my own personal humble opinion, not too bad. <laughs> I think it looks pretty great actually. And uh, inside, let's put a lot of stuff. So this stickered panel piece came from the Art Cafe. It's got pictures on the inside. On the outside, it's got some really nice graffiti or, you know, a big picture by Emma. So this is, oh, you know, I mean, we're not going to see this when it's all bundled up on the outside next to each other, but maybe we will if we make spaces and alleyways between the buildings. Anyway, uh, so I've got so many plans. So I'm making this in the same style as the others so that I can put the, uh, the wheelchair lift on the front. This picture on here is out of the school, out of the latest school. And of course it's Emma's artwork. So we're putting it in here. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> and a uh, nice place here, I think for a counter. So let's just make a nice rounded counter. I'm trying to just gauge whether I have enough room here to stand a figure behind the counter. Let's just pop Emma in there. It looks like there's lots of room, but once I put the actual counter toppers on, there's not so much room there. I think that looks really good. And a purple laptop to go with the color scheme. And we're going to put a clip on to hold the pen on because I don't want the pen going everywhere. It's gonna be bad enough that the laptop's gonna fall off. Though the laptop should be a little bit cozy there because it's snug. This corner is the right size for an easel and Emma's Jungle Cube has just the perfect size one. I'm just pulling this Hollis Wallace out of the Jungle Cube with a semi-painted chameleon on it. These are the parts that go to putting it together. I'm not gonna read, I mean, I just basically pulled it apart, put it back together again. So those are the parts for it uh, and we could yeah we could pop it in the corner here look at that I mean this could either be a display or it could be you know something that she's working on in slow times yeah a, a little work corner that's nice so I've got a paintbrush and a paint pot in the corner just put the handle in there but that's okay maybe it's a water I don't know it's a holder for the paintbrush this seat piece definitely is an Emma piece but I don't remember what set it came out of but it's definitely her colors purple and mint just so good okay I think we have a cluttered that side sufficiently uh, I need some mint walls here just to line the side of the door and down on the floor a nice big landscape picture of the OG girls which came in the in Andrea's house 
house. I mean, how much was Andrea's house more Easter egg filled than the tree house? Anywho, so this is going to be displayed on the floor on an angled brick piece. Very nice. Okay, working on the other side, I'm just going to pop out these walls that I've put in just so that we can get in there. This came out of the art studio. Just, I mean, it's too perfect not to put in here. And I need some more, we're just going to put more artwork in. So this was from the original roller coaster set, the fun fair. It's got OG Emma on it. I mean, it's yeah, it's, it's a nice big poster for your wall, <laughs> if that's what you're buying. And a picture that Emma painted of the girls on a mission, mission car, Olivia's mission car. Okay, paint supplies. This is just a revamped version of the ones that I did, uh, of a more fleshed out version of the ones that I did for, for the, for Emma's art studio. So this is it's basically, we're basically just moving her art studio here into the mainstream building, yeah. But let's add a, uh, a painters a paint palette because it we can display it really well on those new uh those new floating see-through pieces some paint pots on this side of the drawers and then some of the taller paint pots let's put them on a shelf no that's too high we just need one plate higher i think there okay and then we can just fit a couple of taller paint bodily tubey kind of things now they, they look like bottles so done this before putting the unicorn horns inside our transparent bodily things so we're going we're going to use blue and yellow for this lovely they're going to go on our shelf there we go look so it's so, it's so fleshed out now there's so much stuff in here now i need to put these walls back in and start thinking about how i'm going to finish off the walls along the top i need to build them up by one plate because they don't quite line up with the front so we're going to use dark purple for that dark purple plates and then yeah just dark purple bricks along the top and then line i think the whole lot uh with with the with the gray tiles like the rest of the buildings are so same thing on this side gonna use purple plates to build it up I'm just trying to tie them all in so that nothing's gonna be wobbling everywhere that should hold that together nicely now need a single brick where's my single brick there we go single brick here and then these front ones need to go up a little bit too just by one dark purple plate nice and put the sign back in and oh dark purple tiles along the top of these scrolls that adds a nice little awning to the doorway and we'll match that up on the other side with the other little purple scroll oh uh, hold on okay let's put some yeah just one, a couple of these in here they're gonna add extra support for the layers above this sign came out of oh man what did it come out of i don't know but it says emma on it no i do i think it came out of i think i think it came out of uh, the van her art van i think <laughs> I can't remember for sure. But anyway, because this is going to be Emma's room, got something in here that has her name on it. There we go, look at that. And some lights, some little display lights above those windows, because there are display lights also in the other shops for the bottom of the other floors too. So I just kind of wanted to replicate that style as well. Okay, nice grey across all the rest. Lovely, lovely grey. Beautiful. Now, we've got a got this little dude here which I just like to put in because he adds a different texture to all of those portraits all of those pictures so see I told you that laptop was gonna fall off I lied when I said it was snug in there it's not <laughs> okay we've got space in the middle I want to make a special new sculpture for Emma made out of cheese it's well maybe not made out of cheese <laughs> maybe it's just a cheese sculpture because in the reboot she loves cheese and i agree with her because cheese is the best thing and life without cheese would be very sad and i'm really glad i'm not lactose intolerant ah uh, so cheese sculpture proudly displayed in the middle of the room it has yeah it has got the um the prime position okay all right i cannot possibly fit anything more into that let's see how i haven't actually thought about how i'm going to incorporate this into the main street building because it actually goes uh it actually matches colors with the second level of the corner building but i don't know it could I might have to move lampposts around too. I'm going to fiddle with it all once I've got more buildings. This is only the initial new one. So, okay. All right. So the cafe is already purple um, and the hairdressing salons also got mint. So they kind of tie in between those two colors. I could put them in between. That looks kind of cute. I don't know, but I can mix it up as I make more as well. And I'll flesh it out a bit and make it look <laughs> less sad by itself by putting one of these apartment buildings on the top. 
Look at that! Actually, there's a lot of yellow right next to each other now, so maybe... Oh, I'm gonna have to... I am definitely gonna have to mix and match as I add more rooms for the other girls too with these block colours. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be super fun though. And, oh, and I love, because she's actually got on the sides of Emma's art studio, there are actually graffiti. There's actually artwork on either side. So my idea is to add little alleyways, split these apart and have room in between so that we can have little bikes going through or, oh, I just don't know. It's just, it's such a versatile design. You can mix and match this and I intend to do that. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm just going to keep adding and adding and adding and see where the, you know, it's all about the journey, not about, no, I don't know. We're just going to find out. Let's keep doing it. Tell me what, uh, which girl you want to see a room for next. What do you think my be integral to Lego friend history that has to go into this if I'm thinking of it as my own personal 10 year anniversary set. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and yeah check back in. More things going up really soon so I'll see you then. Bye!